Hey, what's up guys? I'm Deep Sky Dan, and welcome to my smartphone astrophotography YouTube channel. So I wanted to create an introductory video to tell you about this channel, myself, some of the gear I'm using, and how I image DSOs with nothing more than my smartphone and my telescope. So first, I'm Dan, and I'm originally from Jupiter, Florida, USA, but I'm currently living here in Nagano City, Japan. I'm married, I've been here for about five years now, and I brought all my telescope gear from the US to here, and my wife and I, we've been doing um, some visual with all the gear for the past few years now. But in September of last year, I decided to jump in, dive head first into astrophotography. But the catch is, with my smartphone. And let me tell you, it's been a learning curve like you can't imagine. There's a lot to learn, a lot of moving parts, so to speak, but I think I finally got it figured out. So I wanted to share with all you out there exactly what I do in hopes that maybe you'll try to image these deep sky objects as well, because it is a lot of fun. I love doing it and I really want to share it with everybody. So let me show you about a little bit about some of the gear that I'm using now. Um, now I showed you this phone. This is a Galaxy S7. This is not the phone that I'm using. Um, I'm actually using a Galaxy S10 Plus, uh, but I love these Galaxy series phones. The cameras on them are awesome. And one of the important features I like is the pro camera mode in there. Uh, in that pro camera mode, it allows me to shoot in raw, raw data. Now, raw data is what we need to process these images of the DSOs to get the beautiful pictures that you see. So that is an important feature and you need to have that in your phone. Um, there are There is an app that I use as well to actually take the data and I'll talk about that later. Um, the next piece of equipment I want to show you is this bad boy right here. Check this out. This is a Celestron uh, Edge HD8. This big bad boy here is an 8 inch aperture and this is made for imaging. This is how I get all my beautiful images through this bad boy, of course, with my phone. Um, and the other important part to have is the phone holder. This guy right here is a Celestron Nex YZ three axis phone holder. It has one, two, and three available axis. And what you do is you just put your phone in here like this. And I can change these axes to move my phone up or down, sideways, and in or out. As you see, it goes on the eyepiece here. And I've modded my adapter in two different ways, and I'll tell you about that at a later date. Um, so that's the gear that I'm, some of the gear that I'm using. Now, there's one other very important part that you need for long exposure astrophotography and doing what I do is the mount. You need to have a tracking mount, a go-to mount, because that is going to follow your object through the night sky. And that's very important for taking long exposures. Now, I do mostly 30-second exposures on these phones. I'm hoping um, later in the future that they will up that to maybe a minute. That would be even better. But for now, we're doing 30 seconds is my max. And that's usually what I do for all these galaxies that I'm taking pictures of. So that's very important. What I want you to do is go into your phone, see if you have a pro camera mode, and if you do, look for an option to check RAW, to shoot in RAW, and check that option. That's what you're going to need. Now, the last part that I do to get these finished images is I take all my data, and on my PC over here, there's a couple different programs that I use, like Secator, Deep Sky Stacker, and Photoshop. It's important to take these images and we're going to put them in one of these programs and we're going to stack them all together and create one TIFF image. And in that TIFF image, there's a lot of data. We're going to take that TIFF image, put it into Photoshop, and we're going to extract all that data out of there. And we're going to create the beautiful images like you see probably on NASA website or floating around anywhere on the Internet. That's how we do it. Now, I'm going to show you how to do each and every single one of these. I'm going to show you from the gear that I use more in depth. I'm going to show you how I acquire these images, the app that I use to do it. And I'm going to show you how to process all this data to create these finished, finished, finished images. So 
Yeah, I'm excited. Sorry, I'm excited. Uh, and I want to share with everybody out there how I do this. So I hope you hit the subscribe button and follow me because I'm going to tell you how I do all this stuff, everything. I've got a lot planned. I mean, filters, different things, gear, different telescopes. We're going to do it all. And I hope you'll follow and enjoy doing what I do because this is an awesome hobby. It is expensive, but you don't need expensive gear to do it. You can do it with whatever telescope you have, and all you need is your phone, and that's the most important stuff. So, follow me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.